Hello everyone, welcome back to episode... I guess it's 15 now? I think it's 15. Um, so, we are in our newest hideout. And... I was just looking around a bit. I've picked up some blueprints that were here on the chemistry station. And there's also something lying here on the bed. Oh, I think this is the one... Yeah, this is against the plague. We're in, we don't have the plague, right? No, we don't. We're just hungry, so... Let's just eat something real quick. Like... Like the blue currant. Okay. I also saw that we have a lot of skill points to spend. And now I'm going to... Sprint quietly it's in the future with tippy toes. And by this, then we have 11 left. So how much does this cost? Oh, this will be good. Especially if there's another situation where we can't pass without climbing over a flower pot. So let's take this one too. Very good. So now we have three and we won't be able to buy anything with three. Okay, very good. What's this? So loose screws. Very good. Okay, so I think we're done here. All flock and bill. Hmm. A lockpick. It's very good to have. Okay, so I think we're going to go back to Dr. Faraday. What I also thought about is that maybe I should go scavenge a bit for um, for the red flowers to do some more healing bombs because I think I'm out now. Those fights against the plague downers is really hard. They were they're really strong. They do a lot of damage, so I should maybe prepare a little bit. So. Uh, Hmm, I wonder if there are a lot of flower bushes here. Who says that? Was it you? Jocasta. Ew. Okay. Whatever tastes good. So, because here there's only... There's only night blooming nonsense here. I can't see any... Roses... No. Okay, so I'm just going to continue and bring the f Motley into Dr. Faraday. Hey, James. Okay, he's busy. Okay. Ah, I need to place it here. Hello? Brilliant. Thank you. I didn't dare ask those idiots out there. They'd only set themselves on fire again. Um, what do you need it for? I've been working on a wormhole device, you see. Well, don't you look puzzled. Spent science class mooning after a girl, did you? They said it was dangerous. Ha! <laughs> Ridiculous. It's perfectly safe for the most part. You have a device that makes uh, a portal of some kind? <laughs> the, the, the going in the whole bit works. Theoretically, I can come out a second hole on the other side of the river. I just need a few particular mechanical pieces. That's how I'm getting out. How are you getting out? Oh, simple really. I just need to get to St. George, get a letter of transit, go to the parade and cross the Britannia Bridge without being arrested or shot full of joy by a doctor. Excellent. Here, you'll need this device. I've marked the cars that have the parts I need. Well, off with you. Okay, so another collecting the extractor. I like her. She's like this typical crazy scientist. You 
But she's funny. Oh, here we go. You don't have another one. Oh, yes, you have another one of these. Well, Lincoln Wells, Battle of Flowers, best in show. Yeah, I can imagine that the night blooming nun such is the best in show. If the show is at night. Okay. I should have said, how have you been all these years, Sally? You ran off into the night with nothing, and now you're some sort of brilliant chemist. How did you survive? I wish I could have helped you. It'd be nice to be friends again. Instead of all those dreadful things. Well, yeah, you could have, but... It seems like this just built up in Arthur for years and years, so... We can extract the car oh, now. Loud. Oh wow, this is loud. Right? Ooh. So, I'm a bit confused, because the last time it seemed a little bit like it could be that we are Percy, but why are we still hearing that Percy is calling out for Arthur? Is this just another memory that we, um, that we just want to be true? Of course, Percy never cared much that he didn't fit in. I'm not sure he even knew what fitting in was. So... I'm really confused. Again. But I'm really interested in how it's going Do to I turn really out. Have to extract three bits. Wouldn't two do? Oh. Where am I trespassing? So, oh, we're near our hideout again. Oh dear. Well, I guess this is definitely nothing that you can do in a city. Arthur, where are you? You are too old to go to Germany, are you not? No, no! I'm not going to put one more child on that train. Arthur! <laughs> oh, God. I don't think I like this device at all. So apparently extracting car bits gives us flashbacks. So that's where we need to go to next. What this green thing here? Ew. Wear your gas mask. Okay. Hmm. I'm just going to walk past it. And pick some berries. Because there's no roses here, right? No. Ah, but there. But I think now it's safe to say that black currants don't rot in your pack, in your pockets. Because I think I've, I don't know, I'm pretty sure that I picked a lot in the garden district and this, is, this was a long time ago, so. Ah, more roses. Very good. It's really pretty here. More flowers to pick. This is a lot different than walking through the city. Hmm. Oh, 
What's here? What's in this? Oh, it's just rubbing alcohol. Nothing special. Hmm. Ah, and here are more flowers. Okay, we're going to craft a lot of peeling bombs soon. If we should ever have to fight, I'm pretty sure that we will have to fight more of those plague downers at some point. Will these hands never be clean? So how far is this? Okay, I think we're almost there. So that's where I parked it. <laughs> no girls allowed. Okay. At least we could have Special operations executed. So, can we climb this? Is there something cool up there? I mean, we're not even trespassing. Johnny Bolton. Oh, hey there. You built a lovely tree house. Mine was never this grand. Welcome to the Special Operations Executive. You're the new agent, aren't you? Alfie, what's his name? Great. Here are the other agents. This is Charlie Croker, Jack Carter, Gonville Bromhead, Joe Bandeleur, and Nigel Powers. But we're missing Peachy. Peachy Carnahan. He's been kidnapped, and you have to rescue him. All right? Brilliant. Here's everything you need to rescue Peachy. The house they're keeping him in is pretending to be a puppet theatre. But it's really a den of spies. Well, that's one way to stay sane out here. Go stark raving bonkers. Mm-hmm. So what do you sell? Welcome back, Agent. Was your mission successful? Oh, he sells healing bomb too. I think we should be able to craft Remember, enough now. We got your back. But this is good to know. So Bomb briefcase, disguise techniques, a key with the secret hole, bomb inside a rat bottom, ew, and an amphibian breathing apparatus. I like this treehouse, it looks nice. Okay, but well, I think I'm going. Oh, yes, this is the car. Oh dear. On to another flashback, I Get guess. Oh no. Oh no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. Who's throwing stones here? I think I'm just going to knock them unconscious. Whoa! I don't want to kill them. Oh, I don't want to kill them, I said. No. Okay, I think I'm going to need to craft the healing bombs now. Damn it. Why can't I? Oh no, while I'm currently in combat, I can't craft. Okay, then I'm just going to run away now. Oh, it doesn't kill you. I could just kill them though, but I don't want to. Okay, so now we should be able to craft this. We can do jerky. This meat does, looks really gross. Ew. Okay. Very good. So, I think I'm going to take another one so we're healed full. Oh well. Oh, there they stand. So, no, he's still here. Hmm. We used to have gardens. 
I would like to take him out. Hmm. At least we could have made them take them. At least we could have not done it for them. Oh, very good. You're standing up. Now go. Walk a little bit. I wish I died in the bombings. Oh well. Yes. Oh no, she's coming. She's walking up here. Wellington pie, Oedipus shepherd's didn't know pie, he was apple doing. pie, baked but he apple, tore out his eyes anyway, baked potato. This won't hurt a bit. Okay. Now you're asleep. The mark of Cain was to protect him. Now I gotta wait till Forget she's that. walking away. Maybe if I can throw a bottle. Oops. Okay, no, you're just doing it. Come on, walk away so I can strangle you. But you won't die, so. Oh no. Sorry. Oh, ouch. Okay, what if we manage to run away now and they lose us? We'll laugh about this later. We should have. There shouldn't be any more people. Hey, what is it? I'm just. No. Yeah, that's why I choked them unconscious, because I didn't want to kill them. Why is nobody appreciating that? Oh, great. I wish I kept in shape. Whoa! Maybe I should sit down for a bit. Can I just... No, he's just walking here, but you know what? going to try it again. Oh dear. Maybe I'll get it done this time. Yes. Very good. Yes. Uh, are you going to hurt us? No one's going to hurt you, Percy. I, I promise. Uh. We're brothers. I'll look out for... We'll look out for each other. <sighs> I don't think I had a terribly keen grasp on how many unpleasant things I've forgotten. I don't know. I feel like we saw, we've saw we seen this whole memories before because we've heard about this. Arthur, we, we already knew that Arthur said that they were going to look out for each other. And that Arthur lied about his birthday and everything. I don't know. Am I missing something? So, we've got all the car parts. And I just want to take a quick look of where this tree house, of where this puppet museum is. Oh wow, that's really far away. So I think I'm going to follow the main quest again. I've decided to not go to much to to the side quests. I mean, maybe this is an interesting side quest. I mean, it's going to be in a puppet theater or something in a puppet museum. But this is a long way, and maybe we will, maybe the story will carry us to this way too. But I realized that I realized that. Um, I don't know, it really unnerves me sometimes to do all those all those side quests because I hadn't smoked in high school, I could oh no. a bit more. Oops, I'm sorry. So yeah, that if I if I did when I did all those side quests in, in Maidenholm, it was so annoying because a lot of those you couldn't even finish because of gadgets that you didn't didn't have. That maybe you're not supposed to have yet. And I don't know. 
this really annoyed me at some point because this it was a lot of work after all because everyone is so susp suspicious and everyone uh, alarms immediately and yeah so i think i'm going to not hunt down every side quest now like i did before and maybe concentrate a little bit more on the main story of course so if if there is a side quest nearby or something and that sounds interesting then maybe we could we can follow this but i don't i don't want to run now to this place just for some side quest so what did i just want to do oh yeah i'm waiting too much okay so let's go back to dr faraday find out what crazy parts she needs next oh there's a memory there's a memory oh there you are mom's been worried sick i was i was riding the subway all day back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth until it closed was i supposed to pay again no you're not supposed to run off like that without telling anyone but i was having so much fun you wouldn't have let me ride. No. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Do you remember 1939? I was five years old. We went places on the subway. With mum before she got sick. Yeah, I remember. I never forget anything. Hmm. Okay. He never forgets anything. Isn't this also something that... Wasn't this also something that Percy said? I'm so confused. <laughs> so confused and maybe I'm getting this all wrong. But I think it's supposed to be like this. What I also realized in two episodes ago, I think I missed a memory in the police station. And I don't know, I don't think it was hidden that well, and it is so... I don't know. It's very different to be in this position of, of playing than in the position of the viewer, because the viewer sees much more than the player, I think. I don't know, maybe it's to do with concentration or something, because, I don't know, I was concentrated on taking a look at this closet or something, and I didn't even see the memory floating beside it. It seems so I don't know I just hope that maybe we could go back to maybe we could go back to the police station once or maybe not I don't know I hope so so what's going on okay here you go Well, that sounds promising. You take your joy immediately. That sounds promising. Go away and come. Whoa! What was that? What the hell was that? <laughs> She's all right. I should go check. <laughs> Never mind. Tomorrow, check on Faraday. Oh wow. So where am I supposed to go now? You will take your oh, joy no. So you Oh wow. Will take your joy immediately. Oh for heaven's sake, she's gone. I can't believe she left without helping me. Ugh. Well, I can. I just feel like a complete idiot trusting her. Oh no, that's not a nice way, Dr. Faraday. I thought you were cool. Is there 
anything that we could use? Sovereigns. You pick what you can carry easily. Oh no. I'm sorry, but I just have to loot this. Dr. Faraday, a modest proposal. What's this? Dr. Helen Faraday, Carmuth, and Hazlott's home. Dear Helen, we at the Executive Committee do not understand why are you so obstinate about the prototype mask we requested. It's not like we're Harry Haworth take talking about reshaping people's heads so they feel better. We're not asking you to run the wires yourself. That is the job of Dr. Ridgewell at the health. We're simply asking you to rig up a happy face mask with microfilament wires that can be run through the eye cavity into the optic nerve so a mild current can be applied to the pleasure center of the brain. Oh, that's a... Oh, sounds ho Oh, that sounds very uncomfortable to set up. And yes, we have discussed the various difficulties with Mr. Arkwright. We're not saying all the wrinkles have been ironed out. It's an experimental prototype. You've done such fine work with the bridges and the spankers, in spite of your objections that they would turn Wellington Wells into some sort of police stage, which you can easily see they have not. We really don't see why this is your hill to die on. Do please let us know when you're ready to see reason. Yours very truly, Beatrice Reeve. For Christ, they want to oh. electrify the masks. Are we all supposed to carry power cells in our hats? Are they completely insane? Uh-huh. Oh. That sounds so... Uh Oh, that sounds so uncomfortable. I mean, they want... So, okay. Oh, letter from Helen Faraday. Thanks for all your help. You'll go far one day, which is more than I can say for the other empties. I don't know what they do to break the bridge, but nine times out of ten, if I turn it off and, and turn it back on again, that does the trick. So do that. You'll need a code to operate the switch. It's 1492. Bon voyage. Oh, so turning it off and on again is Nine the key. Out of ten, if I turn it off and turn it back on again, that does the trick. Oh, for heaven's sake. All this for that. Oh, for fuck's sake. For fucking fuck's sake. Now I can cross the bloody bridge to St. George and find Sally's house and go grovel. Yeah. You can take your joy immediately. Very good. Very good. But I'm still carrying too much, right? So what is there that I'm carrying with me a lot? Hmm. What could be heavy? Well, a lot of those metal bits, maybe. Maybe if I craft something. Oh, enhanced rocks. I sharpened this rock with love so it can hit further and harder. So yeah, maybe that should reduce some weight. We can do some more torches. I don't know if I want to spend all the power cells. I think we need it for other stuff too. Oh, oh, the short spike is the one that we need to for for the for the control boxes. Ah, I didn't know that. Okay. So what else can we do? What else can we craft? We can craft some more metal tubes. Am I still? Overweight or not? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Very good. So, right now... Where do we have to go? Okay, so this is the, the other bridge that we need to go to. The two musketeers make it up to Sally. Yeah, that's a good idea. I think I'm... I'm going to do a quick travel to our hideout here. <laughs> but I don't understand. I mean, we had a short we had a short spike before. Why couldn't we use it on those security boxes? We had two in our inventory. I'm confused. Okay, so I think I'm going to do some inventory maintenance and I'll be back in a sec.
Okay, so now we're a bit lighter. And now... We are going to St. George's. Oh, it's after curfew. Okay. Quick change of plans, because I think they won't let us through at night. Also, we're dressed like a downer still, so we should definitely change our clothes first for everyone. Sees us. Okay. And now we're going to sleep until the curfew ends. Oh. Oh. You'll move, Sandman. Okay, so it's a new day. And now we should be able to go to the bridge. I wonder if changelings were just what people used to call people like Percy. Okay. Changelings? Hmm, whatever that means. Okay. So I don't know, why do all these bridges go out of business? I don't know, why don't why do they close all the bridges? I wonder. Is it to keep those people separated too? I mean here on Maidenholm there's only normal people. I mean joyful people. Or is it just because they couldn't repair the bridge because Dr. Faraday is locked up? I hope I can convince the nice bobbies to let me fix their bridge. Yeah, that would be cool. Oh, there are a lot of people who want to go there. Hello. Couldn't be better, thanks. All right. Um. Oh, I need to talk to this one. Hello. Oh, sorry, sir. The bridge is not currently functioning properly. Best come back in a few days. I oh, know. I'm here to see what's wrong. Are they sending random citizens to make repairs to vital transportation links then? <laughs> Who the other one? No, 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 no. Come back in a few days and the council workers will have this all sorted. I need to be dressed like a worker in there. If I'm not wearing a boiler suit, people are liable to be cross with me. Okay. So can we craft this now? Okay, we need to go to a workbench. So, yeah, we definitely have the materials. So, let's go. How'd they get a cow down there? What is happening in those excess hatch calves? A cow? So, I needed a workbench, yes. This one. So, no, not the rubber cat suit, but the boiler suit. Okay. So now we should be able to wear this. Good. Okay. Well, then let's go back again. So they shouldn't be cross with me now that I'm wearing a boiler suit, right? When I walk in across town. They shouldn't get suspicious of me. No, they're not. Very good. Am I able to sprint now and they don't care? Yeah! Very nice. Would this have been a different outcome if I bribed him with scotch I first? I mean, I had nice that option. Let me fix their bridge. Okay. Again, hello oh, there. Sorry, sir. The bridge is not currently functioning properly. Yeah, I know. Best come back in a few days. I know. I'm here to see what's wrong. You from Central, then? That's right. What's wrong, sir, is the bloody electricity's in and out. Well, the bridge works are supposed to function properly even when the power is inconsistent. Haven't you read the manual? Well, sir... I will let you get onto the bridge without further ado, then, sir. Well, that went surprisingly well. I mean, I gotta say, Arthur can be really convincing. He's a good actor. So, input code. We know this one. 
And now... Oh, okay. That did the trick. Oh no. You need to take... You need to take joy for this. <laughs> okay, well, I guess I need to pop a joy now. Oh wait, I can do it over here. Oh, again, joy pill, yes. Happiness is a choice! Oh, how pretty. Whoa! says step on one lit platform uh wait what fantastic you did it here's some joy you can never have too much joy can you happiness is a choice okay. simon says step on two platforms Fantastic! You did it! Here's some joy! You can never have too much joy, can you? Happiness is a choice! Step on three lit platforms! <laughs> I didn't say Simon Says! Now, Simon Says, step on three lit platforms! Fantastic! You oh no. Here's some joy. You can never have too much Can I just joy, leave? I don't you? want to overdose now. A choice. No. I wanna leave, please. Now, for the last challenge, oh. Simon says, step on all the lit platforms. Ouch! Fabulous! Simon says, step forward through the gate and be sure to enjoy your day. Yeah, thanks. That bridge to the parade is just one more bridge, and then I'm in the parade. And one more bridge after that, and I'm finally out of Wellington Wales. Ooh. I was so scared to do that this would pump us up with joy now. And so and uh, as much that we have a memory loss episode. Can we pass now? Over here? Oh, this is still Oh, it still is a downer detector though. Oh well. I guess as soon as we find our hatch, we, d we won't have to pass this anyway. So, let's take a look at all those. I'm still on Maiden Home. I thought I was on Maiden Home before. Hmm. So. Okay. We have some new skill points. Reduced visibility at night, that's very good. Throwing distraction objects will cause more of a distraction is also not bad. And attacks on unaware enemies do double damage. I think I'm going to deal with the night thing first. Yes. Very good. So... I think I'm almost I'm almost off my joy, so I should find something to hide. Maybe I'll just stay here. Yeah. I'll just stay here and hide behind the houses. And no one will see me then. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, we are back to normal again. But still, I think I want to start with... Oops. Yeah, I think I want to start with finding our new hatch first. Because we always did it like this. I think we should establish our new home here first before doing anything else, so... Okay, so this actually doesn't look very different than, than Maiden Home. So cross if you're not on joy. Oh. Oh, so these are those doctors, right? Will they realize it? They look scary. So what's he going to do now? Is he going to turn around? Okay, I'm just going to pass him. Okay. There are two hatches? Why are there... Okay, so this is closer, so let's go there first. There's always the same statue here. Okay, so it looks like we need to wear our gas mask here. Oh, that smells awful. And fatal. Mm -hmm. I think you should excuse yourself. Well, now in just a few weeks, all this gas should just kind of waft out of here. Okay, so I think I just need to fix all those pipes. And maybe we should be good. Okay, so is there another one broken here or not? Um, so what about this? Do you like clean air, sir? Oh, yes. Oh. I'm a big fan. <laughs> oh, wow. Arthur makes the best jokes. <laughs> Come on, people. Have a sense of humor. <laughs> yeah, he's awesome. <laughs> so, okay. There are any blueprints. Let's pick up those. And now... What's over here? I don't know. <laughs> So, wait, so where's the track access hatch? Here? I guess it must be through this door. Okay. There's nothing dangerous here, is it? Mm, no. Doesn't look like it. Okay, so here are beds. After this the is bombings, I thought we all learned when to put on our gas mask. Dicky bow. He doesn't have anything on him. Now we can power the hatch. I'm sure I can come back here from any other hatch without anyone trying to kill me. Yes, that's a really good thing. Okay, so we accessed our first hideout here on St. George. There seems to be a second one here too, because... Wait a second, but why was it... Why were there two marks? I don't get it. Okay, but it seemed we... It seems we had... We have our new hideout. And it's very close to Sally, so... This is what we're going to do the next episode. We are going to go back to Sally and talk to her again. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next episode.